What's up guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. So today, for you guys, at least watching this, is Saturday. And so that means we have a squad review Saturday. So you guys can see, um, this is another squad from a guest. They're playing in the 4-3-3-3. Um, I just feel like that's too defensive of a formation, so I'm just going to make a slight adjustment and do the 4-3-3 fourth variation. All that does is move this guy up to a cam, move these two guys up to center mids instead of CDM. So just putting that out there off the bat. Um, I wanted a squad that had Robertson and Griezmann. I am going to be using those two guys in my weekend league squad for the first time, so I just wanted a, a little uh, test, a little test drive for him. I have Nesta in my team. I love Dembele. I definitely want to use Dembele um, as much as I can. And as I'm looking at this, I'm realizing the right wingers, right and left winger, have extra links in this formation that I was going to switch to, but I still think it'll work. We'll figure it out when we're on the uh, console in a second. Um, but yeah, so this is cool. It's five clubs, four leagues, six nations. Um, you guys will see I have a couple of surprises um, in store for this squad. But yeah, looking forward to making it, and I'll see you guys on console in just a second. All right, guys, so here we are back on console here. Uh, so we had Allison in goal, so we will go ahead and put him there. We also had Nesta as a center back, and we had Joe Gomez as another center back. And here's my first surprise. Joe Gomez is going to be the Champions League Road to the Final version, which is uh, much cooler than the regular gold version you guys just saw. Played five games with him. He feels good so far, so no complaints. Second surprise right off the bat is we're not using regular old Dumfries. We're going to use the uh, Road to the Final Europa League Dumfries. So I haven't used him yet, which will be pretty cool to use him. Um, high, medium, three-star, three-star, six-foot-two, which is big. Um, but he does have that really good pace as well as decent defensive stats, phenomenal physical. Uh, over here we know is going to be Robertson. He does have a shadow on him. And then over here... Um, this is the only other slight change we're going to be making. Instead of uh, Fabinho, because I don't have him in the club anymore, I sold him. We're going to use Firmino. Exact same kind of card. He's just going to be used less defensively than Fabinho would. Um, obviously, he is just a little bit better of a card. We are going to also put in uh, Frankie de Jong. Haven't used him at all on this FIFA. He looks like he's more of a defensive kind of minded player. I think I'm going to keep this card, so I think I will actually slap an anchor on him. If I have one. You guys can uh, do some live chemistry style viewing here. Do we have an anchor? We do. We have three. So we'll put one on him. Oh my god, it's doing that glitch where I'm hitting X. Can you hear me hitting X? And it won't put it on. That's the most frustrating thing ever. I'll have to back out and do it again in a minute. Uh, Martial is going to be over on this side. Used him on and off throughout this um, this uh, game so far. Don't like him. Don't hate him. <laughs> so he's just fine. Maybe I'll get on with him a little better in this time. Uh, Griezmann goes in there. He's going to need a chemistry style as well. Um, but I'm not going to put one on for this game. I don't know exactly what he needs. Hunter might be the move just to give him that serious pace. Um, Dembele over on the right-hand wing. Because they have a perfect link, he'll still get 100 chemistry. Now, I'm going to put Malin in here. I, well, I was going to put Malin in here. I might make another slight change to this squad. I don't think Malin's uh, a midfielder. So, um, I don't know what this guy changed to in-game, if anything. So, instead of uh, using Malin, I'm going to use Van de Beek, if we have him. Will Tadich work? No. Um, will Van de Beek work? Yeah, because he gets the Dutch links. So we'll put we'll put Van de Beek in. We'll use the Champions League version. Why not? Um, so he will be... Wow, he's got actually a really well-rounded card. So yeah, instead of Malin, as you guys saw in the squad, we're going to use Van de Beek. This is a cool-looking team. Uh, it's got an ultimate scream in it. It's got a road to the final. It's got a Europa League road to the final. Um, and it does have an icon in there as well as a, a few different Premier League links. Um, pretty cool that it's four different leagues technically with the icon in it, right? Um, but, uh, but I like how it uses the Dutch down this side. I think that's cool. It uses the French uh, attack, which I like a lot as well. So, uh, so yeah, so we are going to get into a game, guys, and let's see how this squad performs. All right, guys, so here we are hopping into a game against a pretty decent-looking 
mostly Premier League side. Um, does have that little bit of La Liga there at the back. Interesting, because if he swaps his center backs, he gets full chemistry on Roberto. But it just baffles me how like people make silly mistakes like that. I don't know. But maybe he's just using first owner players. But he wouldn't even need to sub out another player. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, he clearly watched the stream over the weekend of the Champions um, Cup thing. I don't know what they're calling it with the EA Global Series, whatever. But anyway, all right, I will uh, get into the game here, and we will be around with any highlights. Oh, one thing I do want to mention is, you know how De Jong was playing Cam, and Scream Firmino was playing that um, great tackle from Gomez there, was playing that left center mid. All I did was swap him, and then I just put a, an instruction on Griezmann to stay forward. That was the only change um, changes that I made in, uh, in the tactics. So <clears throat> just so you guys know that, and now we will get into the game. Wow, Griezmann feels really good on the ball, actually. Can we find him again? Can we push one across? Oh, Dembele. Gotta get in front of your guy there. Oh, De Jong. Almost wins it back, but Dembele does. Firmino, roulette. Oh, couldn't push it far enough in front. Ozil's making tackles. Okay. Frankie De Jong feels awesome in the midfield so far. Van de Beek. Hit that. Goal. Nice. This team feels good. I don't know if this guy's just not very good. But, um, but wow, De Jong and, and Griezmann felt really good. I might have to work De Jong into uh, my team over Modric, to be honest, into my regular weekend league team. I mean, it's been seven minutes. Okay, I, maybe I should relax a little bit. But I did like him. Made that really uh, crucial tackle. Dumfries feels good out on the wing as well. I see you making that run, Dembele. You will be rewarded. Come on. Okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to hit him with the fake Rabona and then the scoop turn. It's Oh, okay. I was going to absolutely sell him, but it's fine. We'll just have a Griezmann header free in the box. Okay, so one of two things. This guy either stinks or this team is absolutely gross. Um, <laughs> probably a combination of the two, to be honest. There's De Jong making a tackle again. Firmino ends up with the ball. Martial finds Van de Beek. Van de Beek looks through to find Griezmann. Griezmann takes it away from his defender. Cut inside Dembele. Okay, fine, fine. De Jong on the edge of the box. Oh, it's Van de Beek. De Jong up top. Oh, he finds them. Oh, I thought that was a for sure pass through. This team is good, man. Hit him with the roulette. Oh. Oh. Oh, Frankie the drag back. Find him. And finish, Martial. Yes! I just think this guy's not very good, to be honest. And looks like he's rage quitting right now. Um... I'm not going to get enough highlights from that, so we will jump into another game, and you will see more from this potentially really, really good team. All right, guys, we're jumping into game number two. Let's see what his team looks like. He is definitely trying to do objectives. Um, he is rocking a Bundesliga squad, probably mostly first owner, if not all. He just got that Mbabu on loan. It's his first game with him because you do get him on loan for 10. Um, but his team rating is pretty high. He probably has some bangers on the bench. We'll see if he brings them on. Um, I'm not going to give this guy an easy game because I didn't get any easy games when I was doing my objectives. And I'm a firm believer that objectives should be difficult. Um, I think these icon swap objectives should be hard. And I am not going to... Um, if he wants to scrape a couple games at the end, or a couple uh, goals at the end... Um, because I know he needs like assists with someone or something. That's fine with me, but I'm not going to just uh, lay down for this guy just because he's doing objectives. I mean, I did mine, and uh, and nobody actually gave me a helping hand. So Martial is through. Uh, oh, nice, nice. Let's keep it in. Uh, I beat him, and then I didn't know what to do with it. <laughs> um, that's on me. Martial's playing playing fairly well. Everyone was playing well in that first game, though, to be honest. Uh, we got to move De Jong from up top. So we just go to that quick attacking tactic. Again, didn't change anything um, except those things I mentioned before. Griezmann on stay forward. And um, De Jong switching spots with Firmino. That was the only thing. Uh, Dembele, why are you so far inside? That's all right. His dribbling is disgusting. Fake Rabona. Scoop turn. Drag back. Get it inside. Griezmann. Drag back. Finesse shot. Oh, man, he's good. Whew. Both of their dribbling feels so good in the box. Let's see if we can beat the defender this time. 
he knew I wanted to do the Burbisman, so instead we don't do that. We find Firmino in the middle, and he puts it right into the goalkeeper's hands. That time I knew it was De Jong. I just tried to intercept that pass and just missed. Oh my god, De Jong's an absolute machine. He's making every tackle in the midfield. Really impressed with him. Can you find... Oh, I took a sprint touch. It's my fault. But he wins it back anyway. He's go good. I'm going to get there. All right, good first half. Um, we did manage to get a goal. This guy is much better than the last guy, but I still think the team's playing well. Um, just a few other things going our way, and we would have been able to uh, get a couple more openings. But we do have two shots, two on target with one goal, so I'm pretty happy with how it's going so far. I will be back with you guys for the second half. All right, back for the beginning of the second half here. Um, let's get a goal. Let's get a goal right from good control from Dembele. First time back. Wins it back. Ah, I thought we were going to get a little lucky there. Van de Beek's done a, a good job in the midfield as well, actually. Um, De Jong's just covered more. Oh, my God. My controller died. Quick. Oh, no. Oh, we're going to give up a goal because my controller died. No, Joe Gomez to the rescue. Van de Beek. Yes. And we're clear. Whew, that was a close one. <laughs> Find him on the wing. So instead of stopping that time, I just went straight through. I should have talked through that. I apologize. You're going to be watching dead air. Um, but because I've set him up with that fake Rabona and then scoop turn a couple of times this game, hopefully I've shown that. Um, he was expecting me. You see how he's lagging behind me? He was expecting me to stop. And because I've set that up earlier in the game, I can just go right to the byline, cut it back to Griezmann for an easy, easy goal. Just so you guys know. Um, if you are if you can tell your opponent is learning from the things that you're doing, just switch it up one time and he will have absolutely no clue what's going on. Just like that. Dumfries one-on-one -on, -one on the wing. Well, oh, see, things like that are really unlucky because, like, I made that tackle and now I'm going to give up a goal because of it. Like, you guys saw, like, I made that tackle. Like, I should win that ball. A little unfortunate, but we still do have that lead, so no problem. You know... Firmino finds Griezmann. Griezmann drags back. Finesse shot. That's real unfortunate for him. <laughs> I wonder if that was going in anyway, like other corner, but that's really unfortunate for him. I'm not going to celebrate that. That's that's tough. Um, but take shots, guys. Good things happen when you take shots, especially with good players. Um, Griezmann hit that ball really, really hard. If you don't hit it that hard, it may not take those same deflections. So, Oh, I was going to say that'll work, but not quite. Oh, my Nesta. That'll work. Griezmann, keep the ball. Drag back. And that's disgusting. <laughs> he keeps that ball because his dribbling is so high. I made a mistake, obviously. But that drag back through traffic and that power shot, wow. He's so good. I'm so glad I just bought him. <laughs> <laughs> I just had the thought of him falling backwards there. Oh my gosh, you're going to get hurt. Not only is he a video game character, his guys were there to catch him. That, that's a team. That's the mark of a team. This squad is awesome. Whoever made it, um, really, really good. Glad I made the changes I made because I think Gold Gomez could have got beat a couple of times. I think Gold Dumfries could have got beat a couple of times. Um, Fabinho would have been a just fine replacement for Firmino. You just probably play Van de Beek at Cam. Um, or drop Griezmann back, play somebody else at striker, sub somebody on, whatever. Uh, Griezmann with the match ball there. So in the two games we've played with him, uh, I believe he had two goals in the first game. He had all four goals in this game. He is so, so good, guys. Um, and again, he's about 180K. Actually, I will cut right here, and you will see me again in a second on the squad screen to talk about the team. All right, guys, so here we are on the squad screen. Um, I'm looking at Frankie de Jong here because he was doing all that tackling and whatever without even a chemistry style. So we're going to throw that anchor on him that I tried to throw on before. Hopefully we're not uh, hit with that glitch again. But um, de Jong, absolutely one of the standouts of this team. Loved him. No, shut up. They took an anchor from me. You guys saw I had three before, right? Did I put an anchor on someone else? Oh, I put an anchor on someone else. Okay, okay. Don't don't freak out. <laughs> I put one on Gomez as well. Um, so anyway, Van de Beek for just like a fill-in guy. 
not bad at all. Um, Dumfries, very, very usable. Joe Gomez, very good. Robertson didn't notice too much, to be honest, but like if that's the worst thing you have to say about your left back, that's actually pretty good. Martial and Dembele, good wings because they're fast, to be honest. Um, Dembele, I love in this game. Obviously, Firmino, I have a ton of games on as well, 118. He's like 700 and something K, though, so I wouldn't recommend going to buy him, but because I packed him, I'm not getting rid of him. Um, Griezmann, two games, five goals, one assist. His weak foot, I could see being a problem potentially going forward. But I didn't notice his pace. Um, and remember, no chem style on him. But his dribbling is gross. I mean, look at his look at his um, dribbling stats there. So agility, he was rocking on 95, uh, which is super, super good. Reactions, really, really high. Ball control was 95. Dribbling was 93. And composure was 89. Those dribbling stats are phenomenal and also his shooting stats are really really good 95 attack positioning you could tell he was just always in the right place at the right time has that good stamina you'll never have, never have to worry about that and his heading is surprisingly good uh, as well as his jumping for someone who is only five foot nine high high and a striker is a little bit worrisome but i i really really enjoyed him um so again so this squad um from a guest on footbin uh gets an absolute uh actually we should start we should start rating teams um so the team I used last week, if anybody remembers, it had John Barnes in it. Um, I would give that team probably like a seven and a half. Uh, it was a really good team. This team was definitely better. I would probably give this team like an eight and a half. Um, the only place you could really upgrade it, in my opinion, is the left wing. So maybe if you put someone like Sané, Sané would probably work there. He would get the Liverpool links, um, and Griezmann doesn't need that link up top. Sané would be an, a good improvement, and obviously this other central midfield spot. Even if that's, I don't know, keeping Dumfries there, you'd have to get creative with how you how you fill that spot. But um, maybe get a Dutch legend at center back or something like that. But yeah, I would say this squad right here, probably about an eight and a half. Uh, really, really fun to play with. Had some good players in it, um, and uh, I enjoyed it. And I and speaking of, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like, subscribe. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, please leave something down in the comments letting me know you got here um, and what you thought of the team and any improvements you think you could make. Um, but otherwise, um, I had a fun time making this video for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you in the next one. Thanks.